stuff and how, you know, a lot of bad shit comes on the internet and stuff. And there's possible actions that they can take to stop that. So we might stop seeing like all these assault videos and shit stuff. Out of white people videos. Yeah. yeah. That's and why, then, like, that, the, that's the reason. That's the reason. Salute to, um, salute to Margaret G, man. She says, gratitude for showing what us teachers deal with. Yeah, man. Salute to Margaret G, man. The, Salute to all my teachers out there. Yeah, teachers got to love this channel, man. Now, let me move along, man. Tell me how my sound is, too. Solid. New tonight, police in Montgomery County are investigating after the video of a woman yelling racist comments that the owner of a pizza shop surfaces online. It happened right in front of other customers. Tonight, NBC 10's Johnny Archer shows us. You know what else happens right in front of the cut? Never mind. This is, think about this. This woman is being investigated by the police. None of those people at any of these Waffle House videos have ever been arrested. <laughs> You're out of business. New tonight, police in Montgomery County are investigating after the video of a woman yelling racist comments that the owner of a pizza shop surfaces online. It happened right in front of other customers. Tonight, NBC 10's Johnny Archer shows us how people from the Hatboro community are coming together to show their support for the owner. I can see Wallace Ritchie now. Amy's family pizzeria in Hatboro, Montgomery County is getting a little extra support Friday night. Yeah, it's support, yeah, definitely, yeah. People from the community are coming forward after this video of a customer's racist rant began circulating on social media. You want to talk Spanish on your TV? What's wrong with that? Because you're not American, dude. The owner says the outburst came out of nowhere after the woman heard Spanish programming on the restaurant's TV. You're in America, you're supposed to learn English. You got Spanish? Well, then you got Spanish on your TV. That's a f to Americans, dude. Ain't my fault you like the good food. The case. They have not said if any charges have been filed or released the woman's name. The department also trying to dispel rumors on social media of who the woman is. Didn't expect them things like that, yeah. The owner of the pizzeria did not want to show his face on camera, but says he is saddened by the incident, something that's never happened in the 10 years he's owned the business. This big bag of food, I waited patiently for it, and I'll never complain. But since the video surfaced, business has been booming. But even though it was bad, but it's definitely a blessing for them, because look, there's going to be even more tomorrow and Sunday. Can you imagine? It's great that everybody in the community is coming together. People coming together to show support against racism. In now, the here's my thing. Gladys could get could get clumped upside their head with a fucking by a black kid and drag down the street and say we don't want him prosecuted. <laughs> this woman, you know, kind of like playfully just you know roasting this guy about. I don't his, think his she was Spanish. playful. I think she was being a cunt. But Yo, where does yeah, the white where does white left. guilt come from, man? Where does white guilt on. come from? Hold on, man. But but she's gonna. They don't mind. They're not giving her a break. She doesn't get a break. She doesn't, like a witch hunt. We don't. We don't want to prosecute. We don't want to. We don't want to. We don't. We don't feel jail alternatives to prison. She don't get the alternative to prison. They want her fucking ruined. Yeah, they want her job, her life, her goldfish to die, everything. I wouldn't be surprised if she's a Americanized white Hispanic. That has been here for a couple generations and, and and are complaining about not integrating into society. No, that's Social too media. deep, man. I think she was just all up in her feelings. Yeah, she just or drunk. This is this is a lot of. She hating on Telemundo. The owner says the outburst came out of nowhere after the woman heard Spanish programming on the restaurant's TV. I mean, I get that though. Like, I mean, to a degree, like you're in a glider neighborhood. Look, this is an all glider neighborhood. You're in that their neighborhood. Sad. Hold on, hold on, Bill, Bill. God damn! Every time I say something, you cut me off. This, you're in a glider neighborhood, and you're all glider neighborhood. What about the people who come into the fucking place and want to fucking wait for them while they're waiting for their food? Or while they're fucking waiting for their pizza to get, get cooked, want to watch some fucking TV. 
and you got Univision on. That is kind of shitty. I think she's more surprised the fact that Umbritos owned the pizzeria instead of the taco shop. Yeah, I mean, it's it's fucking crazy, man. I mean, it, it is kind of fucking disrespectful. Like, like I mean, literally, like if 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 think about it, man, it is kind of disrespectful. That fucking Univision, all these, all, all your customers are white. I mean, say it again. Say it again, Art. Huh? I said, say it again. So you think them having a Spanish channel is disrespectful? What you saying? They're not servicing Spanish people. They're selling pizza to Italian people in a fucking white neighborhood. And the people got to come in there and what if when they're like, I, I ordered two pepperoni and sausages, and they're like, um, oh, uh, ten minutes, sir, ten, ten minutes, sir, <laughs> and it's like, okay, while well, you're sitting there waiting, you're watching fucking Telemundo and shit. Is that outside of Philly? Yeah, this shit is fucking. Yeah, this shit is fucking disrespectful. It is disrespectful, man. Face on camera, but says he is saddened by the incident, something that's never happened in the 10 years he's owned the business. This big bag of food. I waited patiently for it, and I'll never complain. But since the video surfaced, business has been booming. Even though it was bad, but it's definitely a blessing for them, because look, there's going to be even more tomorrow and Sunday. Can you imagine? It's great that everybody, the community is coming together. People coming together to show support against racism in their community. Johnny Archer, NBC 10 News. Five, one Atlanta leader says people experiencing homelessness in the city have now relocated to the suburbs. One reason is because they believe they'll be safer there than in the city. Fox has more. <laughs> I mean, the homeless running for safety. I mean, come on, man. I mean, this is the indictment on Sunderstead, man. If, if 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 Pookie and Ray Ray, if they want to put something on there like a uh, like. Like, you know how, like, you got a baseball card, you want to put one line on there of your greatest accomplishments or some shit? This has got to be up there for one of Pookie and Ray Ray's greatest accomplishments. <laughs> you got help move homeless, the homeless people running for the border. <laughs> so Hatboro, Pennsylvania, 92.6% white, 3.59% wow. black. Hispanic doesn't even show up on the radar. It's so small saying. it doesn't even show up. And, and you're on a 92 point, point something percent ladder town, and you and they walk in there and it's fucking yeah, 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 on a fucking TV and shit. Hey, Ag, what is what if that was for the workers? What was that for the immigrants no, back there? Yeah, I get it. The workers on the television. I get and it. This is outside of Philadelphia. I get it. No, I get it. That is. But it's still fucking disrespectful Annoying. of their culture. If you show these people that you're fucking doing this for them. You just fucking make them welcome. Make them the buying experience. Listen, when you go to when people are trying to cater to black people, they play a certain type of music. They may play some fucking Anita Baker or some goddamn Shad Day or some shit. They're not gonna play Bet Midler and fucking goddamn <laughs> fucking Barbara Streisand. You need to play B Bay King so you attract the right kind of sun people. Yes, I mean it's disrespectful. A lot has got to eat that shit. Um, salute the cool cat. He says salute to the panel and chat. You know, you got a cool friend in me. Yeah, salute the cool cat, man. Salute to you, bro. Um. Muramasa says, in NYC, they have a lot of Ombritos working at pizzerias. Very rare now you'll see Italians who work and own the pizzerias. And you know what else? Go to a Jamaican spot in the kitchen. Now, the people maybe like the on the, on the front line may be Jamaican, but if you peer back into that kitchen, there's a bunch of Ombritos back there, man. And I've been seeing that a lot because I yo, do go to a lot of Jamaica. Yo, Ark, yo, Ark. So, so I think I may disagree with you on this point. 
So well, yeah, that's, that's fine. I don't care. If you disagree with me, that's fine. Just please don't fucking cut me off all the time. Okay. You cut me off sometime, but don't cut me off all the time. Go ahead. Oh, um, like, so where do we put it at if we drive into a neighborhood and we hear a certain type of music? We hear Spanish music. Next block, we hear Young Boy. We hear, you know, hip-hop mm-hmm. music. Where do I get mad at? Where where do I? Am I saying, damn, these damn sun men over here. Or when the sun men come through, damn, these damn hombritos over here blasting that damn music. Where, where do yeah, I get mad? In a wider neighborhood. Cost of living is an F. Housing is an F. That I, think, I think it's one uh, part some people of a are simulation. Priced, that means some people are priced out of this neighborhood, Hatboro, Pennsylvania. Yeah, salute to Hatboro. <laughs> I mean, you're you're in a neighborhood full of full of like let's just say gliders, but you're playing Mexican music. So I mean, some part of it's assimilation into a culture. If you're coming to America, I think the purpose is to serve the clientele. If you own a business, that's different than you riding through a neighborhood where people own homes or exactly. exactly. renting. Okay, business. Can- Nobody's saying that you got a fucking. Have a case quinceria and you gotta play fucking Barbara Streisand at the quinceria. <laughs> talking about like you're fucking selling these people fucking pizza. It's a bunch of white people. Yeah, yeah. You gotta come in I'll here. Me. Can I get like, what do you got about the fucking table? I've, I've never walked into a Chinese restaurant where I've heard Chinese music playing. Oh, I and, and, uh, you know, majority white town. Every Chinese restaurant I've ever walked into had thunk, 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 playing on that. Never heard it. Never heard I have, it. I have, I have. I have. Salute to Christopher Swope, man. Um, becoming a member. Let me let me move along, man. Shout out to um, Blackstan for one of his greatest achievements. Wait, five. One Atlanta leader says people experiencing homelessness in the city have now relocated to the suburbs. One reason is because they believe they'll be safer there than in the city. Fox Eyes Morris Diggs spoke with city officials about what they want to do to move them off the streets, including one controversial plan. Even the homeless are fleeing the cities. One of the plans for the homeless is to put them in one location, out of sight, out of mind. This image inside the city of Atlanta is almost common. But in the suburbs, and you're looking at Marietta Friday afternoon, the homeless are there also, and more are coming. The gentleman actually had moved up toward the Sandy Springs area. This is someone that was unsheltered, and when he was asked why, he said, I don't feel safe in Atlanta. That struck me. From Atlanta City Hall, where homelessness again was a topic to the state capitol, the dilemma of an expanding street population seems to have no concrete answer. A city official gave a warning about a pending state proposal. Pent? So and put it away so we can't see it. I don't see how the hurting of the homeless and putting them all in like a tent city mm-hmm. is the answer. Hurting. Hurting. Women, women should not be making certain decisions. I'm not one that says women don't need to be um in politics completely or women don't need to be police officers. A woman has her place, man in certain things like the female mind just cannot recognize danger the way that down the line i think females are good at recognizing immediate danger but well females would be good as uh the head of a board for a a uh, human rights group or 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 a you know or a a puppy adoption or for no, you can't you know, even leave them helping, in charge of feelings because they'll a charity, take that shit a charity too far. organization for helping people. But other than that, they shouldn't be heads. Yeah, this is this this is a huge issue, and you have women making the decision. This is something that's going to affect it. Like these, a lot of these guys are pedophiles. A lot of these guys are fucking um, transients. A lot of these people have diseases. They leave needles everywhere. This is a huge decision to be left to a bunch of fucking women, man. In state proposal. Pent business. So and put it away so we can't see it. I don't see how the hurting of the homeless and putting them all in like a tent city mm-hmm. is the answer. Hurting, you do that to animals, right? The mayor's aide said everything must be done to counteract how some might want to resolve the issue. Take homeless people from where they are in cities, which is kind of scattered, to consolidate them into one location 
that doesn't have proper sanitation necessarily. There's no regulation for that. There's no regulation for treatment. She's describing what bureaucrats call wraparound services, medical help, mental health, with the aim of getting lives restarted. But Councilwoman Keisha Waite says all that starts by getting primarily men. You can't restart these lives. It's like a one out of, if you if you pour a billion dollars into this, you'll have a one out of 1,000 ratio of, of getting lives restarted. But everyone Throw them in barracks where they have a yeah. mess hall and a cot, and that's all they get. They don't have a. They don't have any possessions, and, and want to get out. We'll come help by you. In the if morning, not, we'll we'll provide your needs, and that's it. Trucks okay. will come by in the morning, pick people up for jobs, drop them off in the afternoon. Hey, I got a, I got a little statement to say about this part about the homeless part. How can you never see no homeless on burritos? <laughs> You do. No, you haven't been out west then. Well, yeah, I've seen a lot of them. I've never seen one out here. Never seen one. Well, well because if you're willing to, to struggle and, and willing to work, you will have family there that will be willing to help you. If well, you're not yeah. willing to work at all, that's when you'll be homeless. Yeah, and here's the thing, too. that People come here from you know Mexico with they don't know the language. You know, they probably got family, but they don't know the language. And, you know, a son, man, raised here, born here, educated here, still can't make it work. Yeah, it's hard. It's hard. Still don't know the language. Yeah, no, I um, disagree with the mayor because in Tucson, Arizona, they're having the exact opposite problem. They kicked out all the homeless from their camp. They took over a park and they kicked them all out because the gem show came to town. And there's been so many more feces being found of, you know, public indecency and, you know, the assaults and stuff are crazy because at the park, the city gave them a bunch of, you know, uh, porta potties and stuff that they would clean out exactly. you know, so often. And that's, and that's that's the point that the women are saying that that's not humane to have them all herded up somewhere. And actually, well, they're, but and they were able to be kept in control over there because you expected them. Yeah, over there. Ice, that's how that's how the body works. The body localizes all your fucking toxins and forms a zit. That's what a zit is. A zit, a blackhead. That's what um that's what goddamn um urine and feces is. Your body takes everything and puts it in one spot. You know what I mean? But you All can locate them out cities. in the desert and just give them give them the, the things they need to survive, and that's it. All these big cities had slums in the 1800s, and uh, they were terrible. And it took them a hundred years to get them cleaned up. So now mm. I guess they're going to do the same thing again. Very few, uh, very few bums out here in the country of Texas. Very few. And then also by keeping the homeless people in a park or in a designated area, you keep the gangsters and thugs from taxing the homeless people to be able to sleep in certain areas. That was a big hustle back in my hometown, back in California. Oh, really? Wow. I didn't yeah, know that. that's what the Nortenios would do. They would fucking tax the homeless people so that way they could stay in certain areas. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. there are very few bums out in rural texas because they all go to the cities because they get taken care of there exactly there's no there's no services out there in rural yeah texas. they need to but take notes families off rural. the pavement we have a number of pieces God of property damn, it's nothing but women every this shit is frustrating man they're gonna they want to mother these people we have a number it's of pieces because of they want them in charge of feeling homes, including Fulton County that I believe we can collaborate and find resources to actually put people in in lodging and housing money is not the issue there there's plenty of money what's needed is a coordinated approach to solve this problem from Northeast Atlanta I'm Morse Diggs Fox 5 News what's needed is people who actually give a shit about improving their lives which most of these don't they're given whatever they need to survive and they're just happy with it. And when it's given to you, I mean, you don't respect it. Yeah, definitely you can't. You can't respect it. And Give also, a woman uh, something. She, she, in, she will hate you for it. Give a Tucson, woman something before she gave you some ass. I'm Tucson, telling all y'all now. Homeless, the homeless people have been jumping out in front of the cars to commit suicide and stuff. There's been 19 so far this year. Oh, my God. That's so yeah. crazy. Um, but yeah, give a give give a sister, especially if you're dating a sister, give a 